Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to continue the progress of the introduction of this ADS1256 AD converter. So previously I showed you how to read and how to write the registers. So basically how to submit a command uh, to the uh, device and how to see what kind of uh, settings are applied for this device. So the next step from here uh, can be for example uh, the reading of a single value. So in this video I will show you how to read uh, a single value from this AD converter. So before uh, going on with this video, I strongly suggest you to uh, to check my previous video because that can help you to understand this video because I will build everything uh, on that. So I suppose or I assume that you know those things that are introduced in that video. And uh, I also have another video where I talk about uh, the whole process of uh, this kind of uh, device. So if you are just interested uh, in the device and want to get some uh, source code that you can use readily without understanding uh, the principles of the device, then you can also check that video. And uh, now I will talk about this uh, reading. So in this case, uh, the situation is a bit uh, more complicated, but it's not difficult to understand. So I took uh, the table uh, from the uh, datasheet and that is from the page 34 and uh, this is the read data as as you can uh, see it here so it's uh, nothing fancy and as you can see that uh, the command is basically one as you can see it here and uh, here uh, you can see the timing or the command sequence so what happens here is that when the data ready goes low, so this guy here, uh, we can read a single uh, conversion result based on uh, this uh, command here, so this. And uh, what happens here is that data ready goes uh, low, then we can uh, submit the command, this uh, our data and then we have to wait t6 and then we have to step out uh, uh, the 24 bits which consists of uh, three bytes the msb the mid byte and the lsb and after we uh, finished with this the data ready goes back and the device is ready for a new uh, reading out so based on the previous video First we would like to write the multiplexer register in order to select some input. So we want to select uh, the legs uh, which we will use for measuring something. So that should be like the, not even step one, but uh, that should be the step zero. So we say that we select uh, multiplexer. So that is done by using the write register uh, command which is shown in the previous video so that's not a unique uh, function which is for this kind of device but that is uh, a function which I wrote in Arduino and uh, this is how it looks so we have our function and uh, if you remember then we had in the first uh, place here this is basically the wreg uh, command and then uh, here we have the binary code of uh, the following pins. Uh, the positive pin uh, for the input will be the A in 0 and the negative pin is uh, basically the A in uh, COM. So this is basically the ground. So this is fine and then we can go on with the step 1. So step one is basically here. So we again start with waiting for the data ready. 
and then uh, we start the SPI. Uh, I continue here. I will not go into details. Uh, I will put a text here on the video, but uh, I already explained this in the previous video. So then we have to uh, tell the AD converter that we try to start something with that. So that's uh, when we basically just go and uh, pull the clock select, uh, or uh, sorry, pull the chip select uh, down. So this is the CS or SS uh, lag. And uh, then we go for this command, the command he here. So step four is we issue the R data, which uh, looks the following. So basically spi.transfer uh, and then we just basically tell that one. And then we, uh, this is getting transferred to the AD converter. So after this happened, uh, we are here in the sequence, this part. So we have to wait uh, T6. So the step five will be basically wait uh, T6. And I also explained this uh, in the previous video. So please go back there and see what is uh, T6 and how you can calculate it. So we are done. And uh, now comes the tricky part. So the tricky part is here. Uh, I had to copy the code and uh, the code is uh, on the left side. So this guy here. So after the, the delay, we do this. So what we have here is a variable which I named uh, register data. And uh, here we have the basically the value of the register data. So we have uh, the value of our data here. Then uh, I would like to explain what happens here. So in the beginning, so basically before uh, this line occurs in, in the in the code, this art data or register data is zero. So there is nothing in this. And you have to make sure that uh, this is zero and you don't have any trash in it or any kind of junk uh, data. And before uh, starting this sequence again, so if you want to read a single value again, you have to make sure that this is zero and it doesn't contain any uh, data from the previous measurement. So here we use uh, the binary code on the right hand side and of course this together is 24 bits and uh, which is of course uh, 3 times 8 bits because the three times uh, is basically the MSB and then the mid byte and then the LSB as it is uh, shown here. So MSB, mid byte and LSB. So we go with this first uh, sequence. So first we are here, right? And then uh, everything is zero. So I just write a zero here. And then uh, we are uh, after the delay we are here in this sequence. So with this SPI transfer, we shift out uh, the first eight bits, which is this guy here. So what happens here, uh, we write uh, the first eight bits in, in the register data. So then basically uh, we have the MSB here. And uh, let me write you, let me write down the decimal value of this number here because later on this will be interesting or it will be useful for us. So we have the MSB here and then this is decimal 85. So then we move on for the next uh, part and you can see uh, we finished uh, this so we are here. What this means is that we shift the data uh, left by 8 bits. So what happens is that uh, this guy here on the step 2 goes left by 8 bits and it's quite uh, visible here. And so basically we can just write down that uh, MSB is shifted left by 8 uh, bits. And then uh, let me write down the decimal value again. So this is uh, 
21,000 and uh, 760. So we are done with this and again uh, we get the next 8 bits which is the mid byte here in the sequence. So what happens here is uh, that the MSB and the mid byte is combined together by the bitwise operator and then we have a new value for this which is 21,848. So this is done and then we shift again. So as you can see we had our values here and the, this was the new in the curly or uh, normal parenthesis. So this was the new and then we get these uh, square brackets and shift everything towards the left. So as you can see uh, it's shifted to the left and of course uh, you can see that this is zero so we, we went uh, to the left with this now 16 uh, bits so what happens here is basically that the MSB and the mid byte uh, together is shifted left by 8 bits. And then of course the decimal value of this 24 bit uh, number, uh, binary number, will be changed. And then uh, we have a significantly higher number. So I would like to stop for a second here because I would like to tell you uh, that there is a difference uh, between the SPI.transfer and the shifting of this data because when we do the spi.transfer uh, then we write this uh, dummy byte and that will uh, trigger the ads to send out uh, the data for us and we will store it in the register data but in the beginning when this data comes in that is stored in the first uh, eight uh, bits of this 24-bit uh, uh, variable and uh, then uh, when before we try to read the next eight uh, bits, so the mid byte, for example, uh, we have to shift all the data towards the left by eight bits to make space for the next uh, eight uh, bits, which will come in. So when we do this uh, shifting, uh, the first eight bit will be between the ninth and the sixteenth bit, of course, and uh, the first 8 bit will be freed up so that will be entirely zero and then we read out the second part of the data the mid byte and uh, that will be uh, combined with our variable by using the bitwise or operator so after the second reading we will have uh, numbers so the bits will be occupied between uh, the first and the 16th bit and now we do a shifting again from the 9th to the 24th bit uh, everything will be occupied and then we will read out the last part of data which will occupy the first uh, 8 uh, bits again and that is basically the last uh, step and then in the last step we finally fill in the missing part this guy here so we get basically the LSB so the last uh, or least significant uh, bit or a byte sorry because it's eight uh, bits so what happens here uh, is uh, basically this guy here I don't uh, repeat it again is uh, combined uh, with the bitwise uh, or operator together with the LSB and then uh, we get our final result which is in decimal is the following five five nine three one three one and we have to remember this number so we have our result and now we only want to close down the communication so the step seven let's say is that we pull up 
the uh, chip select or slave select uh, pin and uh, finally we just end the SPI transaction so SPI dot end transaction and we are done with one value so we read one value out uh, from the ADS 1256 so now I have to show you what to do with this number here so the next uh, slide is that so let's see how the numbers work so we agreed that uh, we have 24 bits available so you can see that uh, this is 24 uh, bits and uh, in principle we can only use the half of this uh, for positive and half of this for uh, negative numbers and uh, I will show you how it works so you can see that uh, we have the first bit, second bit, third bit and so on and so on now in this uh, kind of representation and then the first bit, uh, the last bit is basically the bit 24 or if you start to number the bits from 0 then it's the 23rd bit but here in this uh, demonstration it's 24 so what uh, the makers uh, of this logic did is that they say that this 24th bit is the sign bit so let me write it down which means that effectively we just use the first 23 bits here and then the last bit here will decide whether this number is negative or positive and how this works is that uh, if it's zero then we have a positive number and then obviously if it's one then we have a negative number so in this case here this is the largest positive number that uh, we can represent on this uh, system of binary numbers let's say and uh, the largest number in decimal is this guy here if I wrote it properly yes so what happens here effectively that the next number here would be of course that everything is a uh, zero here and you put a one here and uh, how this works is uh, in principle that if we have this number and if the data is larger than this number I just put a, a small letter here then uh, that means that uh, the bit uh, 24 is 1 then uh, our data will be uh, data minus uh, 2 to the 24 power so whenever we have a number which is uh, having uh, number one as the first we do this the following so we have this and uh, in decimal this is eight nine one two nine one one oh, let me write it like this so what happens here is that uh, if you want to convert this to a uh, proper number then you see that this will be a negative number because of these uh, 24th bit so basically we just do this so this is basically the D here so D minus uh, 2 to the 24th uh, power is this guy here and uh, also we can do this with this guy here so then this is a bit larger number 
and uh, then we also have to do this uh, which means that we are somewhere here but we still don't have the numbers right so this is still uh, just a number represented on the let's say a digital scale which is just a bit so let me show you how to understand these numbers so we have a scale here let me put uh, the the zero here and uh, the bottom let's say the bottom part of, uh, of this is uh, the bit and then the top part is uh, voltage so zero and of course on top of this we have zero volt and let's move to the right side so the maximum voltage is of course uh, plus 5 volt with the PGA equals 1 uh, setting and uh, also according to the reference voltage of the AD converter and then here we also have the highest bit which if you remember is here so let me write it down and then if we go to the negative that's a bit more tricky because actually if you move towards the negative scale then you get larger numbers than this uh, as a bit so if you move towards the negative direction so this direction you will be measuring minus 5 volt and of course you have to remember that this is only possible if you use the AD converter in differential mode but if you go towards the minus uh, sign or the negative side of this uh, scale and then actually you will be reaching the other end but you can also think about this as the final number that you will get based on this kind of operation so of course you will get uh, 16 million uh, let's say as a measurement number uh, here at this part but uh, since in order to get 16 million in decimal uh, your binary number should be uh, should have the first uh, sorry should have the 24th bit as a uh, one so it will be negative so after doing this uh, kind of uh, correction or conversion uh, you will be uh, having much smaller number and here uh, the maximum number is basically uh, this number here plus one so it's let me just copy it and how to understand this so for example uh, if we take a look at the data here what we measured is if you see that we have minus uh, seven million eight hundred forty six thousand and three hundred five so that is basically should be somewhere let's say close to this number because here it's uh, this is yeah, 8.3 million and this is 7.8 million so let's see this is the D1 or we have something here and then this is just uh, 987,000 and if we consider the scale then let's say that should be somewhere here so this is let's say D2 and also here uh, we have 5.5 uh, million so this was our number that we measured and then uh, I don't know it should be let's say here or or some, somewhere here let's say uh, it's not so precise so how you get the voltage is the the following so if you want to get the voltage uh, what you basically do in an uh, idealized uh, case that uh, you have a reference voltage and uh, that creates a scale 
from let's say 0 to 5 watt and let's say this is exactly 0 and this is exactly 5 and let's say you have a 24 bit uh, AD converter which is always giving back 24 bits regardless the conditions so what you uh, do here is if you have uh, a range of 5 volts now we just take care of the positive uh, range <coughs> so if you have a range of 5 volts and you have 24 bits that means that uh, you have to divide this scale to 2 to 24 uh, parts so basically 16.7 million parts equal parts and then whenever you get some bits uh, you will be able to uh, convert back this from a voltage because if you get uh, let's say 8 million something then uh, you are sure that that is somewhere in the middle of this scale and you will get something like 2.5 uh, volts if you have a uh, voltage between 0 and plus 5 volt and and so on and so on so how it works is basically you have your uh, reference voltage and then you divide it by uh, here according to the data sheet is just uh, 23 bits and why because uh, here you cannot use the wall so if we go back to the first part uh, we are just using this here so 23 bits minus 1 because both scales the negative and positive scales contain the zero and you just want to uh, count the zeros once so you uh, subtract one division from this so you don't want to include zero twice so basically what you do here is you have this so this is basically what we did here. We divided the scale to 2 to the 23 minus 1 equal uh, parts and you multiply this with your data. So that means that uh, you have uh, you know that one uh, bit so if you have uh, one uh, between 0 and 16.7 uh, million then if you have one that will be equal to uh, basically v over uh, sorry 16.7 so that is here and then you have to count uh, the number of bits so if you have let's say uh, 24,000 and uh, yeah you have 24,000 then you have to count this kind of uh, division and you have to multiply it <coughs> you multiply uh, this number so basically what you have here is 5 watt and then that is divided by this number here times your data so if we go back to D1 and D2 Uh, that is minus 4.78 volt and then uh, if we have the D2 and uh, that is minus 0 0.6 volt and if we do it with our own number up here uh, that is let's say D3 and that is basically 3.33 volts so it's, it's quite simple so just once again uh, to be sure uh, the numbers which uh, come out from the AD converter is a 24 bit uh, number and then the 24th bit whether it is 0 or 1 will decide the sign so in principle we are only using uh, 23 bits to determine the number and then if we have positive number it doesn't matter we will just get some number like in this case and then uh, we can convert that to a voltage and if we have a negative number then uh, first uh, we recognize this by uh, taking the 24th bit and uh, 
seeing that that is one. So what we will do is basically we have this number, uh, the, the wall number, the 24 bit number and uh, calculate uh, or convert it to decimal that happens here and then we subtract uh, the wall range of uh, this to convert it to negative so we basically mirror this number uh, on the zero uh, on the scale and it will be negative sort of and uh, we note down the negative number and then based on the uh, scale which we have I, I drew it here so we basically divide the 0 to 5 volt to 16.7 million equal parts so we will know that one step on this uh, scale will be equal to something some very low voltage and what happens here in the conversion is that we get uh, some data let's say from here which is uh, I don't know 85,004 and then we get this number and put it here so we know that uh, on the bit scale we stepped basically 85,004 uh, steps so we have to multiply uh, this guy here by, by this number and we get back the voltage like, like we do it here and that's all. And uh, finally we have the, the voltage. And uh, this is how you measure the voltage uh, with your ADS1256. So I hope I was not so confusing and I could uh, explain properly how to uh, recognize the negative sign on a 24-bit number and also how to read a data, how to shift uh, the values out from the register and uh, also uh, how to get a feeling uh, of this kind of conversions and uh, commands and everything. So I hope that you learned something and I hope that this video was uh, useful for you and uh, in the next video I'm trying to show you how to read continuously by cycling through all the uh, inputs of this kind of ADS uh, 1256 uh, AD converter. So see you in the next video.